Hello and welcome. Today we're going to check out UFO Alien Invasion. This is an open source game that is heavily inspired by the original XCOM series. Uh, just imagine that with a, uh, a bit of a different story and 3D. They have, uh, they've, they've changed the campaign around a bit, so it's not, the, it's not like a, a remake of the originals, but it's uh, well heavily inspired by them. This is a uh, free game that you can download. Uh, I'll put a link in the description from their website. It is actively developed, so I'm playing the uh, the latest stable version, which is still it says 2014 on it. Uh, on the uh, the website, there is updates from last month, however, so I guess I uh, I probably could have gotten a newer one, but this will be fine to show off the uh, the game here. So we've uh, UFO Alien Invasion is is an open source thing that uh, we'll go ahead and try out. There is a multiplayer part to the game, but for now, we're going to do a single player thing. We can do a skirmish where we play on a, um, well, like the, um, like in uh, XCOM, you fight, you know, on the um, on the ground. But we're going to do a campaign to get into the game to kind of show off how the thing starts. We won't do a full campaign here, but we'll get the uh, the beginnings and the, uh, the idea of what is going on here. So we are humans. We have, you know, some things around here. We can select different difficulties if we want. I'm going to go with standard because... They've only played for like 30 minutes or so. But let's start this thing up. I guess there are mods as well that have been added in here that you can add in, which I uh, I didn't check out, but I noticed there was an option for it. So this is a very long and, uh, and, and wordy story. Basically, what happens? It's 2084. Earth is a, uh, is a happy place. Most of the bad times are behind us. Things are good. Things couldn't be better, it says. Uh, but uh, things get worse. Um, right. Now, first attack has hit the city of Mumbai on the 3rd of March in 2084. We had six UFOs show up in the night sky and, and rained bad things upon us and killed lots and lots of people. Um, and then we called the UN to, uh, like, figure out what is going on. Then Bonn, Johannesburg, Bangkok was hit. Uh, bad things are happening. We need to figure out... A, how to deal with this. We tried talking to him. It's not working. So, the, uh, the, the nations of the world... Come on, come in, come in. There we go. They... declare war. And for two weeks, the armies of humanity each try to fend off mysterious alien attackers at best of their ability. They score few, precious few successes, and so what they do is they, they dust off the old equipment, they resurrect some sort of anti-extraterrestrial agency. I'm not sure about the past story with that, but we're called Phalanx. That is us. XCOM Phalanx is the name of our people. Uh, all eight nations are funding this thing, and we're going to go and try to take down some aliens with that. So there we go. Things are happy. Aliens show up. We try fighting them off. We can't do it alone. We build a, uh, an organization and try to do that. So we're going to start off the game very similar to something like XCOM. We're going to build a base. We're going to recruit some soldiers. We have a Sky Ranger. We have an Interceptor. We're going to go shoot at UFOs down. We're going to go kill the UFOs. Welcome, Commander, is what this is telling me. Good luck, Commander, is what it's actually saying. Uh, a few more mail things here. We have uh, Alien Tech telling me, you know what, we got to figure out where these aliens are at. It's even called Alien Origins. And we have Laser Weapons is also a tech that we can do. So first off, we have to check out, well, we'll check out the world first, I suppose. We've got uh, just a few uh, nations of the Earth here. These are the guys giving us money, and the guys that we need to defend in order to keep money coming in. We can do the U.S., we have the, the revolutionary countries in the South America, uh, New Africa, all, all these folks around here. Uh, we can actually see their borders if we click that one. So our goal is to build the first base and defend these countries. We're going to go with the old, the old classic turkey spot, I suppose. We're going to call it home. No, we'll call this one uh, HQ. Very good name. Alright, so, um, it's it's all very similar looking. In fact, there's a lot of uh, things that remind me of, of Apocalypse in here. Just sort of the look of it and the look of the soldier equipping and all that. We have like alien containment here. We have a hangar there. We've got our, our interceptor hangar. We have living quarters. We've got storage. We've got our, well, our entrance. Our, um, Radar, all these different spots that are in place. Well, if we want to build more of them, we can do that. We can go into buildings. We say we want to throw in uh, living quarters. There we go. Living quarters is getting built. And, uh, yes, excellent. Let's go back, and we can check out research. We can go and research laser weapons or alien origins. Let's do the ra laser weapons first. 
And let's go ahead and check out our aircraft. We have a Firebird D, also known as a Sky Ranger. This is the thing that holds our people. We have soldiers that are on board that uh, that Sky Ranger. They have different abilities. And they are also, well, they have mission info. We have different abilities and, and how good they are, whether they're good at throwing things or whether they're good at shooting things or, or, or whether they wear he uh, headbands. And we also have a stiletto, which is, this is our interceptor. And uh, this thing, where is it? There it is. We can put, we've got one pilot in there. We can also throw in some equipment. Right now it is carrying some rotary cannons on the front. And on the back we have, what are these, missile racks. AA missile racks on the sides. We want to put in like a rocket pod. We can do that. Just, you know, very apocalypse-like. We can switch things out, make the thing cooler. Whatever we want to do. Um, let's take a look at our people. Soldiers, pilots, workers, and scientists here are soldiers. So we got like Caroline here. Caroline, we can equip her. You can see she is carrying a, an assault rifle right now. She has different things on her. She's got a clip, looks like. She has a SMG in her pocket and a magazine, and she has a med kit. She also is wearing some uh, infrared goggles. And we got a few different guns. We have a sniper rifle there, assault rifle. This is a shotgun we have. There's a sniper rifle, assault rifle. Uh, Xavier Williams has a rocket launcher. And Whale has a... that. What, we have a flamethrower, don't we? Let me start with a flame... There it is, there it is. We want a flamethrower. Who's going to carry this thing? Whale is. With a name like Whale, you have to have the thing. Uh, can I have a, how do I get rid of this? Just get rid of everything. Whale, you're getting a... Uh, you're getting a flamethrower. Dang it. Take the flamethrower. And uh, have some ammo. There you go. Some flame and ammo. And I'm going to give you... A pistol for your pocket. And can I give you armor? Uh, and you can't do... You can't be quite as cool because you're a little bit overburdened. If I lose the pistol... Like, you don't need a pistol. You got a flamethrower. Uh, can I give you a grenade, maybe? Frag grenade. There you go. Now you're good. Now you're all set. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. We can equip our folks in different ways. You know, it's 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 XCOM. Uh, we have a machine gun. A grenade launcher. Why is no one carrying the grenade launcher? Caroline. Get the dang grenade launcher. Where is it? Uh, heavy. Grenade launcher. There we go. Uh, lose those. You don't need clips. You need grenades. Uh, it's going to be... There it is. Carry some of those. So we can melt some aliens. There's also implants here, which I don't know what that is. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But uh, I think we're good. We got everyone set up. We can blow some folks up. All right. Now, uh, anything else to show off here? I think we're good. Base summer, we can see all of that and how the lay thing is laid out. Yeah, let's go shoot some aliens. I think is the uh, the next plan here. Let's go ahead and start the time up. So things will continue on. Research will happen. The moon will float around, and uh, aliens will show up here in a moment. There's one right now. Landed UFO one office complex right here in Africa. So we need to go send our Sky Ranger at it. We got eight folks on there. Let's go and get it. And uh, I'm kind of sad it was it's landed. I want to show off the I want to show off the combat. Oh well. Uh, are you going? Are you going? Mm hmm. Are you going? Why isn't he going? There he goes. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> the combat is is unique. It's very um. Uh, it's almost Xenonauts-like, where you have the things shooting around in the skies. Uh, it's, it's different. We could, could do an auto mission if we wanted to, but we're going to go in and jump into this thing. So now, this is a, a 3D original XCOM, basically, is how this thing plays out. Very Xenonauts-looking, but 3D. Um, the, uh, it, it's very interesting, though, that this one, we're at an office complex. The first one I played when I was doing a test thing, we actually started out on a boat. The whole mission was on a boat. Um, I did one also before where we're just sort of like in a, in a town and there's some military vehicles around. But uh, let's go ahead and look at this one. So we've got, we're on level one. We can go up. We have an office complex, looks like. We've got a building on this side. we got some civilians hanging around. And we have a very large building. McKinsey is the name of the building. And there's apparently there's aliens in here. So we need to come stepping out and uh, shoot some aliens. So we're going to grab old um, Akriti. We can see the time units here. So if we run over here, we would have nine time units left. Perfect. Head on over there. Oh, you see one already? Where? There's one right there. There's an alien. Okay, so there he is. He's uh, maybe not sectoid looking, but he's, uh, I don't know, red. 
he does have a gun that's very powerful. We don't want him hitting us with that. Can I shoot you from right here? Can I just do an aim shot and blast you? Uh, no. <laughs> that was a terrible shot. What did you hit? What did you hit? Uh, full auto. Oh, no, you can't hit because there's a... Oh, there's a, there's a Sky Ranger in the way. Right. Right. Um, well, I don't want to get shot. We're going to try to avoid that this time. So let's go ahead and just hang out back here. You know what we need to do? We need to grenade the guy. Actually, we need a rocket launcher, the guy. Who's got the rocket launcher? You have a flamethrower. Where's the rocket launcher? Man. Where are you? There you are. Okay, step aside. What do you need to shoot this thing? You need 24 to do this. Okay. Um, stop that. Okay, so you need to come out here. Oh, uh, you won't be able to. You can only go to here and do it. Uh, next turn. Next turn, buddy. Come on over here. And just hang out over this way. You take, take a look over here. Take a knee, and you'll be good to go. Uh, does anyone have any smoke on them? You, I know you don't. But you might. Uh, I'm going to take a look. No, we didn't equip any smoke. Did anybody have smoke on them? No, that would be, that would be you know, wise. We didn't do that. Uh, grenade launcher, lady. You need how much to shoot this thing? Snapshot is only 12. Impact 12, yeah. Okay. We can do this. You should come out right here. Don't die. And I want you to grenade this guy. Right here. We're going to do it on, uh, not time, we're going to do impact. As soon as it hits him, do you have time for this? How many times do you have? Um, you have 19 right now. You're probably going to have to turn. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Do a uh, um, aimed impact on his face. What do you... What's, oh, there's walls in the way. I can put it here, though. I can't put it here. But I can put it right next to him, it looks like. Ho, ho, ho! There we go. There we go. We did it. We killed somebody. Okay. Um, alright. I mean, we've done that before. We're good. We're professionals. Alright, uh, next. Now, uh, now that he's gone, we're gonna do our original goal and just run up to here. Now, who's in the way? You, come here. Come run over here. Oh, that's open, isn't it? Come here. Over there. You see a civilian in there. She's out just walking to her car. No big deal. Are you out of time yet? Oh, I didn't playing that very well. Uh, you come on over here. You don't have time units either. You can make it to the nose. Okay. Bring shotgun man. Can you get over here? You can go to here. It's fine. It's fine. Just charge out there. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, there's civilians out here just walking around. And I want you... I should have brought more uh, rocket launchers. Come on. Uh, just come up here next to this trusty uh, sturdy tree here. Okay. So there we go. Uh, we have alien... With oozy blood, dead. Next turn. Now we get mowed down by the aliens as they come out. Here comes one. Oh, he missed. He didn't miss that time. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another one in there. All right. Can you kill some civilians? Oh, my. Oh, my. Where do you go? Oh, there's one on the roof, too. Ouch. Oh, my. Stop that. It's almost like we shouldn't be standing out in the open when there's aliens around. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, civilian. Don't you have some other things to do? Like, drive away in the car? Alright, civilians are going with you. should be good now. Right, it's the, uh, the alien turn is done. Civilian turn is now happening. We're good. Uh, we're going to charge in, or we're going to just rocket them, I think is the plan. There, um, so there's a, there's a tooltip down there, uh, as you load up the game, sort of helps you, you know, well, tooltips. And one of them was, uh, don't kill civilians, or try to get the civilians to survive, because that has to do with the, the money that the countries give you. My round has started. I thought someone was barking at me. Alright, so let's go back down to our folks. Um, so we know there's some around here. Let's, you're a sniper. Maybe you shouldn't be, like, at the front. Maybe. Um, can you come just over here for now? I know you see a civilian. I want you to just take a knee and uh, put your goggles on. 
There you go. Okay. Uh, next. Let's go down the list here. Alright. Um, now we know there's some over here. There's one right there. Can you get to this guy? Can you get up on this? This tree's very sturdy. Can you get up here and shoot that guy? Never mind your friend's body. Uh, there's one there you can see. You have the grenade launcher. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, I, don't, I don't know where I can see my time. It says you have 20 left. I can put it on you and see it. I, don't, I wish I had a... Oh, there it is, right there. 20, okay. Right, I just gotta read. Uh, you can't get this in the building, though. Maybe we'll get in here. Can you fire one of these in here? Just, um... Do a snapshot. Impact. Can you throw this in here into this building? Oh, you can. Right there. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. Someone give her a promotion. Uh, I want you to look this way, and I want you to take a knee. That will save you. I promise. Next. All right, so we have assault rifle. Uh, let's go... Um, let's just head over this way. You're not going to make it, but it's fine. And uh, you with the rocket launcher. I need you to get over here. You need a lot to shoot this thing. So you can go like here. And maybe hit this one. Can you fire a shot into there? No, you're going to hit the wall if you do that. You can maybe fire it a little bit high. No, that's, not, that's, that's no good. There's no one up on the roof though, right? Can you hit that guy? Oh, you can. Yeah. May I just hit the wall below him? No, wait, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, you missed. Dang it. You guys fired. Alright, who we have here? You? Okay, um... Let's go this way. Oh, you. I see. This is Flamethrower Man. We gotta get you in there close. Okay. You've already moved. You have uh, not moved. Let's get you up here. We're gonna move in and move inside the building and see if we can make our way up with these two. We'll probably all die before them, but... You know. Anybody else? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Next. Let's see how many we lose this turn. As long as they shoot the civilians instead of me, I'll be alright. So we got one over here. This guy is still on inside here, and we got the one up on the uh, roof we have to deal with. There we go. <laughs> Someone's not very happy. Oh, man. It's quite an angle, buddy. Oh, no, not her. Not her. Civilian turn. We're good. We got this now. Okay, we can reload our rocket. Maybe we can get that thing fired this turn. Caroline is uh, is having a day. Can you see anybody? I think you can. I don't... Um, he was up top here. Can you throw that thing up there? By throw, I mean shoot. Yes, you can. Oh, what? What? That's not what we want. Um, okay, we'll let Rocket Man do it. You need to reload. Throw this thing into here. You don't have enough time to shoot now. So come back over. Just get over there. Back there. Okay. That's Caroline. Caroline only has nine units left. Where can you get to in nine units? You can go behind this tree, but you're getting blasted by everybody. You can make it there. Look that way. There you go. That may the tree may save you a little bit. Maybe the only person I care about, Caroline. Come on up here. Can we um can we get a shot from on this guy right here? No, you don't have time use now. I'm not sure if we have the angle on that. We may we may have been able to do that. Uh now I could walk out here and try shooting him. Let's just try to see if we can sneak in though. There's stairs right here. And they lead up inside the building. We know there's one right in here somewhere. So let's see what we can get to. There you go. Look that way. Oh, you got one. Uh, you got one, but you don't have time units. 
You have zero time units, actually. Take a knee. You can't do that either. Either. Oh, uh, well, there he is. <laughs> um, not the best place to be. Okay, so you're going to be right here. So whenever he dies, you can jump in and kill that guy. Okay, next turn. Healing has died. Oh, yeah? What happened? Ow! Whale! Which alien died? All right, it started already. Was it oh, it was this one. So we injured him with the uh, the grenade. Excellent. Good job, Caroline. Okay, so we know we've got one right over here. Actually, how is Caroline feeling? You got 45 health. I can heal you, right? You have a med kit. Can you heal yourself with a med kit? First aid on yourself. I'm not sure that you can do it on yourself. I haven't tried this yet. So um, let me just put that away. Someone else can help you. Uh, you just need to shoot some things. So we know we have one in there, and we have one right over here. Let's see. I'm not sure how many are going to be on this map. There's one right over here. And you can't get a shot in there, but you could maybe get one like right in here. Let's try one. You got three more bullets. Plus, you have plenty of ammo. There you go. Take that wall. Take that wall. Oh, he's dead. Did you kill him? Did that shot kill him? Ooh. Did you get him before? <laughs> you got him before, didn't you? Uh, whatever. Um, I don't know why people are dying. Come here. Turn around. There he is. We got him now because we have time units. Now. Blast him. Take that. Why'd you get a shot on me? Oh, that was it. We did it. We actually survived a battle. Okay. We killed four aliens. We lost four. Sounds about right. We got lots of new items. Now everyone is pleased with us. We can... S oh, oh, oh. So we can store the UFO. Oh, interesting. So we can sell the thing, or we can store the thing, I guess, for research. So let's sell it to um, highest bidder, I suppose. New Africa gets it. There you go. We gained 8,800 credits for that. Okay. So we'll head back to the base, and uh, we'll check out our decorated soldier, Caroline. Where is she? Employees. Caroline. So Caroline's probably a little bit wounded. But we can see she has one mission. She killed two aliens. She is a rifleman, is a rank, apparently. Now I see her uh, stuff. We can see, like, her... We only have four people right now. We need to hire more people. But there's Caroline. We can change her name if we wanted to. Um... But yeah, there we go. Hospital. Caroline should be in here, right? Yep. There she is. Good job, Caroline. All right. Well, there is UFO Alien Invasion. It is available for free. Download. I'll put a link in the description, and you can check the thing out. Uh, apparently, the campaign is is fully done. I mean, the game is still... It's been... It was made several years ago, but it is still being developed. Um, but um, yeah, and multiplayer is also a thing as well, which I did not try out. But uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.